Assalamu alaikum. A very good evening to all of you. Our chief guest, Honorable Minister Ahmed Mohammed, the Minister of Finance, Honorable Jihad, all the ministers, excellencies, the governor of the MMA, Dr. Fazil Najib, Deputy Governor, Ms. Aisha Zahira, and all the distinguished dignitaries, the distinguished members of the MMA, my dear colleagues from the Fraternity of Financial Services Sector of the Maldives, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure and a privilege to say a few words at such an august and historic event, Mali Ray 2013, a night that truly belongs to the stars of the financial service sector and an event like this augurs well for the future of this great nation. I speak for HDFC when I say that we have always considered the MMA to be the father of HDFC as it was conceived and born in 2004 as a result of the MMA's resolve, commitment and hard work to give a sustainable and affordable financial solution to the housing needs of the Maldivian citizens. And in fact, our common matriarch is the financial sector of the Maldives out of which we were all born, all the financial institutions were born and nurtured by the MMA. And in fact, as a sensible father would do, in 2008, MMA thought it fit that HDFC should tie the knot with the private sector, represented by IFC, ADB, and HDFC India. And that's the point that I came in in 2008 as the first managing director of privatized HDFC. And since privatization, HDFC has gone from strength to strength. And it would be remiss if I don't mention one of the finest and most committed and passionate team of professionals I've had the pleasure to work with right across the board, from the chairman and the board of directors to the management and the staff of HDFC, who have made it possible for us to achieve industry benchmarks of growth and sustainability. In fact, selecting the right customers to offer our services, as well as selecting the right investment partners, are the hallmark of success of HDFC's stability. I'm no stranger to the Maldives. I've known Maldives. I've been a friend of the Maldives for more than 20 years. I remember in 1993, I came with the British de delegation on the invitation of the Maldives Chamber of Commerce. And I have seen a tremendous growth and transformation of the country in the last 20 years. And especially the last few years, although they have been very turbulent, the MMA has been as solid as the Rock of Gibraltar in giving strength and stability to all the financial sector organizations. And in fact, whenever we have a problem with investor confidence, because we do business with USA, Netherlands, and recently with Germany, I always point them to the MMA. But first I have to explain to them that MMA stands for, it's an acronym not for mixed martial arts, but for Maldives Monetary Authority, which is a central bank, although they have good fighters who fight the economic woes of the nation. So when I point these due diligence officers who are almost, all of them are very excitable about the country situation, when I point them to the MMA, and sometimes I take them to see the governor, the deputy governor and the senior officials, they have such a calming influence of stability, and a feel-good factor that these investors go away with a positive feeling 
that there is tremendous potential for the Maldives to grow and prosper. So thank you, MMA. We really appreciate all what you do for the stability of the financial sector. And it has been a great privilege to be serving under the leadership that you all have given to the financial sector. And I would say, since I didn't see the vote of thanks, I would make this an opportunity for you to invite me to join in solidarity and appreciation of all the good work that MMA has done and to give a standing ovation to the MMA. Please join me. Thank you very much. May we grow and prosper. Thank you.